Hey, how's it going guys? As you can see, we're finally back with more Yotaka of Aloy. It feels like it's been it's been a while, hasn't it? But we're finally gonna check out the where wait, where am I? I remember I already lost. We're gonna check out these uh three Cold Steel 4 trailers here. First we're gonna take a look at the promotional video. I'm very excited for this one, and then these two little web commercials, which will probably just be slightly condensed well, not slightly, I mean extremely condensed. <laughs> clips there we go of the promotional video just turned into separate little ads for websites and such anyway first let's skip these ads oh how comes old jingle uh 720p that's good enough like on the video full screen all right let's go let's see this promo trailer Yeah, if you want to know the timeline of events, I just recently finished the Cold Steel 3 and 4 double pack. Oh, Osborne. Ooh, ooh. Yo, oh, here it is. Oh my gosh. Mm, the Dark Fairy Tale of Destruction. Oh, here's the OP. Last story, uh huh. Yeah, sure. What about Reverie? Oh, Falcon. Oh, hey, that was from the first OP. Reclaim your name. Mm. Rain is a sacrifice, yeah. Oh, gosh, that, that key art goes crazy. I love this OP song. I love it. It's so good. Yuna, Kurt. Oh, he's holding Sully in the back. Altina. Ash. What are you doing, Ash? <laughs> Muse. Oh my goodness, did you guys see that? <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> there's the rest of Class 7. I love this art as it's just flashing by. Best boy Elliot, Gaius, Emma. Guys, can can you talk at once? This is the trials game. You're supposed to take your time. Oh, now they're showing up as crafts. Cool. Oh. Mm, Claire. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I like how they're mixing scenes from like the first OP in here. It's really cool. Seriously, this song. Oh my gosh, look, there's Gilbert in the bottom. Hey! Bestel and Lloyd. They show Joshua for a split second, too. This right here is my favorite thing ever. In the history of forever. I think about this every day. I think about this all night long. I stay Lloyd awake, Banny not is sleeping. In real trouble. Trouble. He needs this. your help to save Crossbell and protect Kia's smile. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no saga. Hey, that's how you, that's how you end things. All right, you guys, you want to go to Burger King now? We, we get a Royal Crispy Wrap for two ninety nine each. Honestly, kind of the Fiery Buffalo one sounds pretty good. Anyway, this was uh, that just kind of ended abruptly. We just got thrown into Burger King land. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow, that was that was that was ten times better than the Cold Steel three and four trailer that Nisa put out. Sorry, sorry, Nisa. Was, that trailer was kind of mid. If I'm not gonna lie, this trailer was awesome. This these these promo trailers, except for which one was it? Was it Cold Steel ones? Yeah, I think it was Cold Steel 1's where they just kind of used the opening and they had just very brief flashes of gameplay. They definitely upped, they definitely upped their flashiness in terms of the of, of these trailers and just showing off just the really hype moments and having things flash on screen. And I, I really liked that sort of, that sort of like film reel effects where they had all the different, all these different scenes from the different characters going by as they were talking. That was really cool. Oh, this, this, man, Cold Steel 4, people, people say it's a mess. I personally disagree. I think the game is great. 
And that ending, man, what that such a, an emotional ending that was. Holy moly. I still look at the credit, the images from the credits every now and then, and it just it gets to me. The build up to this game was insane. Insane. And I really appreciated the the moments of downtime. Because I feel that's what that's what Trails is all about. It's all about appreciating the, the small moments, the moments you get between your party members just before you go off into the next big story beat to fight off whatever you're going to fight. And I absolutely loved how Yuna was sort of a pseudo-protagonist in this game. For the first, uh, I wouldn't say halfway point until you get Rain back, but it's like, what would that be, like 35? Like around 35%, maybe 40 of the game? But I just, I love how Yuna stepped up to the plate. And she really just, she really just embodied that Class 7 spirit that she observed from watching Reen during the entirety of Cold Steel 3. Such a, Yuna had such a beautiful character development. And of course, you know, the rest of, the, the rest of new Class 7, Ash, Kurt, Muse, Altina especially. I do feel Kurt is one of the weaker members, but that's more because a lot of his growth is more subtle. Whereas with Yuna, Ash, and Muse, it's more upfront. You can it, you can more visually see the growth and the changes and everything. A lot of Kurt is is locked behind his bonding events. Also, to be fair, which is why whenever I would play these games, I would just download somebody's save data and use their clear data to get max bonding points, so I didn't have to worry about choosing and having multiple saves and reloading and all that stuff. I was just like, nope, give me all the bonding points now, please. I want to see everything. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look at these web commercials before we end things here. Should be fairly short. Oh. Oh. Oh, they opened up with... I, I forget his name, but Reen's Japanese voice is insane. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. Oh my gosh, that's it. That was so quick. Oh. <laughs> so fast. What is my name? Oh, oh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta look. Koki Uchiyama. That, that's, that's who it is. Yeah, because I recognize him from the voice of Shigaraki from My Hero Academia. Which, holy crap! Let me, <laughs> season six Shigaraki. Holy crap! Yeah, Rin's JP voice goes crazy hard, but I, I do prefer Sean Chiplock. At the end of the day. All right, that went by so fast. Jeez. All right, let's, let's see, take a look at number two. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, they showed Ren Kia. Oh, did you see? Did you fee smile? Hmm. Hmm. They were playing to your future in that one. Oh, why is Falco music so good, bro? <laughs> Seriously. Ah, oh, okay. All right. All right, I've stalled long enough. You guys can go. You're free from my grasp now. <laughs> oh, you guys, you, you guys know what to do. do. Do I have to? Do I have to keep saying it? Uh, yeah, probably. Just you know, because it's a thing YouTubers do. <laughs> Leave a like on the video. Comment down below. Tell me. Hey, yeah. Comment down below. Telling me what, what were some of your favorite moments from Cold Steel 4. And did you also think the game was slow? Or were you disappointed with Cold Steel 4? Let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts. I'm all about I'm all about people being real here. Everybody's opinions are, are welcome. I don't shame anybody. If your opinion is different from mine, that's cool. I don't get mad at that kind of stuff. I don't shun people for, for thinking differently from me. <laughs> if I did that, I would have no friends. <laughs> I would I would not be able to talk to anybody. Oh and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, you're still here. <laughs> you enjoy my content. I promise, it's fun, guys. This channel's fun. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Oh! <laughs> Hop on board. <laughs> oh, take care of yourselves, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. All right, what's next?